guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll talk about terrifier 3 smile 2 found destination 6 and then we'll talk about alien earth so starting off here with terrifier 3 art the clown popcorn head buckets have been confirmed damien damien leone put this tweet out he said we heard you calling the official terrifier 3 popcorn bucket is coming your way pre-orders will be available through cinemark regal and amc stay tuned for links and, and official release dates cinemark also released this tweet about it too they said our terrifier 3 popcorn bucket will be available to pre-order starting september 18th turn on our notifications so you're the first to hear when it's live shout out to nerdbox for a successful campaign and everyone who advocated for this to happen i never got an actual look at the popcorn head but i do remember saying i heard rumblings of a head being available and it's nice that we got to look at it this pre-order is actually taking place a day before Terrifier 3's world premiere, so that's cool too, because Terrifier 3 will likely get a lot of buzz that weekend out of Fantastic Fest. Damien Leone revealed to Total Film that the Terrifier series was almost rebooted by a major company. He said they wanted to reboot it for a wider audience. That's not what I was interested in. They would say it's got to be rated R. It can't be as gory as you made it. And the director refrained from mentioning which studio asked to remake his clown-centric flicks. However, he ultimately turned them down. He said, I knew they'd never let me shoot the first 10 minutes of what I wanted to do in Terrifier 3, so I thought, let's just stay true to what this franchise is. Now, I think he's talked about this in the past, but I didn't realize that we were going to be entering reboot remake territory almost. Whatever. I'm glad we didn't go down that path, and I'm glad Damien Leone is confident in his vision and stuck to his guns. Now, we did get this cool new look at Art the Clown as well. Looks badass, looks like he's up to no good as always. Now, we're going to jump into talking about Smile 2. Sky Riley grieved you, the song that is supposed to be another single from Naomi Scott, who stars as Sky Riley in the upcoming film Smile 2. That song is going to be releasing this Friday, and we got a snippet of it posted online from the Sky Riley Nation account. Just for context, this song is related to what the Smile Demon entity uses to taunt Sky throughout the film. Her source of trauma, from what I know, seems to be getting laid out in this song, judging from the lyrics we have. Naomi's voice sounds wonderful, which isn't shocking, and I look forward to seeing if we'll get more. Because if you've been following me on Twitter, all I knew about was this song and Blood on White Satin. I don't know if Sky has a secret collab with Lady Raven or if she'll drop a full album to further promote this movie. It'd be smart since an album release factors into the narrative, I think, but we'll see. We also, again, got this cool image of Sky, also from Total Film. She looks amazing, as always, Naomi Scott does. So, now we're going to talk about Final Destination 6. Final Destination 6 is focusing on a family. We know this, but here's something else to tease you guys until the film drops. During one kill sequence... A detail about the family that we didn't initially know is revealed. Now, you can make guesses as to what that is, but from what I've heard multiple times, something about this family isn't what it seems to be, is all I can say. I will, however, say this about Founders Nation 6. The more I sit back and think about what's going on in the narrative, the more I want to say, this is so much like Founders Nation 2. It feels like Founders Nation 2 in a lot of ways. Uh... Just the stuff that I'm thinking about and the way it's similar to certain moments in Found Destination 2 and even this revelation about one family member. Again, it's similar to another twist that happened in Death's design in Found Destination 2. I'm trying to help the sleuths out there who can connect dots without outright saying what the twist is. But you probably already know if you're a major Found Destination fan as to what it is I'm getting at when I say there's a major twist of sorts when it comes to this family there's something that happens during one of the kill sequences that just flips everything on its head so we're now gonna end this video by talking about alien earth and i want to give a lot of time to this because it is quite long i want to start by recapping from this alien covenant site report from 2021 it reads the alien series will introduce a new corporate entity which goes by the name of the prodigy corporation a competitor to the infamous whaling yutani corporation which we're all familiar with unlike whaling yutani's fully robotic synthetics which operate by an artificial intelligence algorithm the prodigy corporation's focus is rather on assimilating human consciousness into synthetic bodies both companies competing for the next be best breakthrough technology, much like the renewable energy race we're witnessing today between electric and hydrogen powered vehicles. Now this site got the information from a report that originated 
by the Illuminati, where it went into character details too. We know Alien Earth will focus on a character named Wendy, but what is Wendy's story? Well, Wendy is not a human. Instead, she is a hybrid, a superhuman who is essentially perfect. However, all is not as it appears with Wendy, as she is in fact has the mind of of Hermit's 10 year old sister, Marcy. Now I'll get into who Hermit is in a second. She learns how to live and control this new body under the tutelage of synth scientist Kirsch and human scientist named Sylvia. Wendy eventually becomes a leader to the hybrids and creates the path for a new era of enhanced beings. Wendy, once she reaches full development, will have super strength, speed, and agility combined with the limitless courage of a young mind Wendy is not only a new being, but a tool of monumental value to the world. Now, why am I bringing this up? I bring this up because I actually do know someone who has seen the first episode. And I just wanted to kind of corroborate this report. Again, that's all the way from 2021. Once I started seeing that this was online, that's how I knew that what this person was saying was legitimate. So there is some truth to that report from 2021. The main character is a hybrid of sorts. She's a hybrid between a synthetic and a human. They have started trying to take human consciousness and put them in the synthetics. There's also this change that's happened with the name. Hermit is actually CJ now. CJ and Wendy are siblings. CJ believes Wendy to be deceased, but of course he'll learn the opposite during the progressions during the progression of this season. But I just wanted to talk about it because what I've heard from the first episode of Alien Earth is that it's a step in the right direction. Now, again, this is just from one person. That doesn't mean that all of you will think this. But going off of what they told me and the fact that I came across this stuff online, that's how I know that the report from 2021 is, in fact, something of legitimate truth. Even though I know Illuminati, I've seen get some flack for their reporting. I've often seen that site be right a few times, too. And I want to say that they seem to be right about this as well. We have a hybrid synthetic human as our protagonist. That is what I want to talk about when it comes to Alien Earth. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.